is, for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. See, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Fred Tavares. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. center line. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, 
huge hook. Just out of range with that left hook. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Just over two minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just misses with the straight right. Real quick leg kick. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Big off punch lands. Now we get back to range. And he landed the right hand there. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for BT Brad Tavares. Oh, hook to the head by Brad Tavares. Got the single collar tie. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. Around. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a gun to play with. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Nice punch by Brad Tavares. What a body kick. Blocks the shot. Wow! He's just start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Tavares' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Swing and a miss with that punch by the Korean Super Bowl. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Brad Tavares. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. But a nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. How good is that right hand? Right, he engages in the single collar tie while showing no signs of slowing down. 41 total strikes have landed for Brad Tavares. Well, the accuracy there, DC, not great, landing at a 33% clip thus far against Brad Tavares. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Bad. Campbell inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Great punch landed with so much power. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, nice uppercut. Yeah. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Tavares. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Let me see that hook now. Visibly limping here. While he continues to find the openings tonight, beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Choice are going towards the left now. Checks that leg kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he's got the longer reach and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now it's his mouth. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully. The by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He 